Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. So, first things first, we can level up again, apparently. Um, I think... Do I want Overlord... Overload, or do I want Defender? Uh, it gives me more health. Paragon Renegade plus 40... Oh, so this just replaces our, our Charm Intimidate altogether. Then I definitely want that up to the next rank. Heck yeah. Okay. Now, let's go downstairs. Oh, eating. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Okay. Ooh, there's like multiple decks. That's cool. We have a captain's cabin. I think we need to check out the captain's cabin. What do we got here? What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the law. We have a loft. So we have our private terminal. Okay, so we can just check that here too. We have, uh huh. Return to active. Okay, so we've got achievements here. There's a lot of stuff to do. Oh my dear lord. Defeat a Thresher Maw. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Th Wait, THE Thresher Maw? Is there only one in this game? Okay, so that's one that we're gonna get. Keep your team alive through the suicide mission. There's a suicide mission? Insanity. Survive the suicide mission. Oh, good. Save humanity throughout the galaxy. Use the Omega-4 relay. Alright, so a lot of these are... are story stuff as well, which is kind of nice. Okay. So I don't really have to worry about too much of the uh, personal stuff that they had before. Uh, don't need to worry about that, because we're good on armor. It's like music, apparently, though. Nope. Sure, we'll leave that on in here. There are I have a fish tank, but no fish. Seems useless. Uh, crew quarters. Let's go down there and bother them. It's a little differently, uh... Ooh, men's restroom. Oh, we're definitely gonna check in here. <laughs> Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Life support. Access to life support is restricted. Is it now? Wonder why. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Okay. Well, that's not depressing at all to hear. Maybe we'll go to New Canton first. <laughs> Women's restroom. Okay. What's the... I mean, it's cool that they have restrooms, I guess, but... But what's the point of that? Miranda's office, huh? Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. We'll talk to our chef in a moment. Whose office is this? Dr. Chakwas. Wait, what? She's here? What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Access to the AI core is restricted. Yeah, I bet. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. 
It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Interesting. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Oh, we're gonna get you some brandy. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. My concern is getting our chief medical officer drunk as hell. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Okay then. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. I certainly hope they will be. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I'm glad she's here. She was good at her job. Find Brandy. Oh, it's a side quest. Yes! <laughs> Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Okay. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me your fucking list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about you. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So, the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Alrighty. I like that dude. Alright, let's see what Miranda's got going on. You have your own private office, don't you? To be fair, I think this is where Liara was before i don't remember commander what can i do for you do you have a minute miranda no doubt you've got a lot of questions cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe 
If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. But he's also the only one in charge, which is dangerous. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Hmm. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. You certainly don't like for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks mm. for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. She's very I'll big of herself. Whatever you need. Wait, is there any other topics we can talk to her about? I kind of Commander, went through things. What can I do for you? Okay, yeah, there is some more. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Okay. How you work? Of course, Commander. Alright, so there's that. I imagine more crew will appear as we, uh... As we get other people. So we'll, we'll be able to talk to more people eventually. Let's head down to the last one. Just to see what's here. Ooh. That's what's here, Codex Entry. What's this area of the ship? No. That's all for now. Oh, Locking no. You out. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. Hmm. Okay. So it's a bigger ship. Wonder why. Why? What just happened there, game? What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. 
Okay. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> in short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Okay, why didn't Cerberus give you that? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Gotcha. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Hmm. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single- Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Okay. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Daddy bags? Oh, Carry Lord. On. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed okay. the shepherd came down. I told you she would. Of course I would. My crew. I gotta check on my crew. Real quick, I wanna check something. Is there a way for it to show me... Oh, squad only. Okay, here we go. I'll have them auto level. Is there a way for it to show me... What... The... Paragon and, and all that is. Okay, I guess not. I thought there might have been a way because the, the way that the game works, like it seems like your your skills and abilities will increase the chance that you uh, successfully do Paragon and uh, Renegade options, but considering that they don't show you what the Paragon and Renegade options are in the dialogue, I thought maybe that was just disabled for some reason, but I guess not. Alright. Well, we know everything we need to. Let's get going. And I think our very first stop is going to be the Citadel. Let's go get our Spectre status back and everything. And then we'll start looking around everything. So, I mean, like, whoa, we actually move around. So Omega has Archangel, the Professor, the Veteran, Fuel Depot, Mass Relay... Whoa! What is this zero percent? Unexplored. Enter orbit. This is crazy. Enter orbit. What happens when we go in orbit? Start scanner.
¿No? There's like one place that was a little bit higher than others. Do I like need to buy more probes or something if I use them here? Launching probe. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Okay. Away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Okay, so... Is there much of a reason to do this? Like... Like, I get it. You can get these resources but like do you need these resources for anything i guess they're they're used to upgrade stuff but like how rare are these resources like i, I don't really know do you have to do this for every goddamn planet i guess it's a little easier than running around it on foot this We'll do this. Or platinum. There's a lot of platinum on this planet. Like, how much do probes cost? Am I about to, like, use up all of my money? Doing something dumb? Probe away. Scanner results moderate? What do you mean? Now there's iridium here. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Launching probe. All right. I mean, like. Is there a reason to do that? I'm very confused by how this works. Can I just drive through the star? No. Lots of unexplored stuff. Okay. Uh, how do I see the entire galaxy map? Can, can I not? Is that just not a thing that I can do? Which way do I go to reach the citadel? Can I not? We must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay, Shepard. Approach the fuel depot to buy fuel. Oh yeah, you can buy probes. Wow, there's just... This is gonna be huge. This is insane. I need to maybe look up, like, how the base stuff actually works. Like, do I now not have any fuel? No, I still have fuel. 
So let's go to the Citadel, though. I'm very curious how the Citadel has changed. Might be good, might be bad. I wonder if people remember me. Hopefully they remember me anyway. Considering, you know, I was badass. And hopefully my specter status still applies. Oh, I didn't know how to holster weapons and now I do. Well, I guess we take the two people that we have. Uh, auto level, auto level. Alright, let's see what's going to go on here on the Citadel. There's a lot here. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. That's not good. What's the news say? Kilo Ferris slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot! Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. Not entirely true. It's not empty. Or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, then. This recruits is a 20 kilo. Oh, okay, okay that just restarts him. Every five Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Assumptions are dangerous, huh? Seems like you're assuming a lot. Alright, see how this goes. Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. Technically, I was. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okay. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. Interrogation room. The stomach or you're worried about being... No, sir. I can handle it. 
Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see your... <laughs> so how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Is that legal? Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. Hmm. I said you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. All right. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Oh my god, you can ask about everything for everyone. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. I don't know about that. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How oh, oops. The from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Interesting. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Okay. There's a lot here. Interesting. So the Hanar blame Welcome us? Back, Shepherd. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There's a lot here to ask, I guess. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, 
Weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Hmm. Okay. I need to talk to the council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the C6 security cordon. Okay. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Yeah, I don't like that. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. <laughs> Want an endorsement? Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Ah, okay. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. What? To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Really? These stores are owned by the Oh, oops. Correct. We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Well, at least I Space Hamster. Oh my god. Ooh, fish. Get the original Destiny Ascension. All right. They're actually pretty cheap. Um, I will buy this stuff. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships <laughs> all day. <laughs> I like these little conversations that they have going on. Pretty nice. Omni tools, huh? All right. Citadel souvenirs. I'm not going to listen to all the news. It'll take forever to get around. There's a bar up here. This place is enormous. Oh, okay. So th this is a different ward, I think. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Okay. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. That's really annoying. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Okay. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. 
tame. A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? <laughs> I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Wow. Uh -huh. No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. I'm just going to get so many of those. <laughs> Sniper rifle damage. Oh, okay, so these are upgrades. Heavy pistol damage. These are more expensive. Offhand ammo pack. To spare ammo capacity. Okay, Aegis vest. Okay, so that's that's an N7 vest. That's what I thought. Okay. So eventually we're going to get N7 vests and, and, and parts that are way better for us than the current armor that we have. I'm pretty excited about that. Squad bonuses. Okay. But, like, we can also research upgrades. So I'm not going to buy anything just yet. I don't want to waste my stuff. Oh, Lord. Game sales. There's games. mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Oh, Lord. Advertisements. Shepherd, you've recently been dead. What? Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? I'm not just mortuary What? That's messed up. Carry award. Talk to Jacob. It's been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Okay, then. Okay, so Zakara Ward has that gun shop. The person to talk to? Who's the talking person? You. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh Lord, it's another reporter. Kalis have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Hmm. I don't remember her. What? So you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Damn. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Nice. I like that a lot. I didn't want to renegade option it. Because I just don't want to do renegade stuff. Wait, there was somebody to talk to? Was that inside? Dark Star Lounge. Oh, Miranda, huh? Oh, Brandy. Yes. How much did it cost? What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. 
I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. Oh god. This is it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. <laughs> Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. Dance! I'm gonna dance. Is anyone else dancing with me? That was really boring. <laughs> Looking for a little R and R shepherd? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the gap attack. Alrighty then. Well that's cool. Is that all there is here? Two shops and I, I went this way and that's all I found. God, this episode's gonna end up being really long. Game salesman. Yeah, I didn't see anything else on this you know what's good? section. And I can't go that way either. Okay. So we got our brandy. God, I, I'm like looking over at the timing. This game is just going to take a long time to complete especially if each episode is going to be like this no combat in this episode sorry everybody i heard that those lakes up on the presidium are filled with fish no they're not she said won't let me they say i'm a risk uh, they think every krogan is dangerous damn turians we should kill them all does someone know about fish? Can I ask you about fish? You have fish in your shop. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? We offer an assortment. You don't have anything. Oh wait, yeah. So I need to ask somebody about fish. I suppose I could ask Avina about fish. Nope. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. Apparently, fish are. Thing though, I hear this is the best place for food on Zakir. I agree, provisions. These are novels. It's only 500 credits to get the provisions. I'll buy the novels, they're only five credits each. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn city. Okay, well, we got the ingredients. That was super quick and easy. What else is here on the Citadel? Uh, okay, your cabin. So you can read those. Used ship salesman? Oh, lord. Um. Is that... Stuff gonna go away? Okay. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Okay, so we can't buy a used ship. That's unfortunate. Can't get anything from him. Rapid transit, chef, Vino. Ooh, hello. Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. Bye. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with CSEC and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Interesting. 
You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Interesting. A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Interesting. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Yes, yes, you could. I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay. You ever had ramen? So, Serta Foundation. Talk to the used ship salesman. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit shit. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Interesting. So he wasn't here. Uh, solar electronics. Oh, right. I could sprint. Oh, why have I not been sprinting this whole time? Oh, because apparently we have stamina of like a two-year-old. Uh, CSEC. Cafe. Citadel souvenirs. Where's the Certes Foundation thing? Were we already by it, or...? Or am I... Oh, that's Serranus Applications. I'm going crazy. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. Let's see. Nothing here. Okay, maybe not what I'm looking at, or what, what I'm looking for. I thought for some reason this was the place. My god, Shepard, can you not run for more than like two seconds? Oh, and that's Rotem. Maybe I was totally wrong and went in the wrong direction. <laughs> Oops. Dang it. I wasted everyone's time. I need to find out if there's fish up there. Let's. Oh, maybe they were just nearby them and I just didn't get a chance to look at everything. I like side quests like this. Simple, like right next to where all of them are. There's a Vina. You didn't see anything, so I can't talk to you. I felt her hand go into my pocket when I checked. I just got a refund in exchange. Now. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Let's see. Serta Foundation. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. <laughs> what an endorsement. Prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. 
You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for <laughs> us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite <laughs> store on the Citadel. Oh, the lies I'll continue. Look into our advertising at once. Thank you. All right. Good day, citizen. Welcome. Credit chip. Wallace was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And now that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. Interesting. If everything's done by catalog, why Customers are you here? Oh yeah, Whether same thing. Why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores? Oh, I think we know why. Okay. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. So you didn't buy anything there. Got another. Sarinus applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I could renegade him. Interesting. Bolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Interesting. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces anyway. He wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just worked out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. So many favorite I stores. That and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Why are we editing that? Oh, okay. Omni tool upgrade, shield upgrade. These are nice, but expensive. I don't think I want it right now. So okay. Which tech module are we supposed to get? Uh, is there anything else? Okay, no. Let's solve this problem. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll what? close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. All right. Ooh, experience and credits. All right. So we did a lot. We looked around everybody everywhere. Um, I guess in the next episode, we're going to take a trip to the Presidium. And actually, let me check the rapid transit real quick. Is this gonna, an available way to take me there? Or do I have to go up to Seasec? Okay, no. I can go to the Presidium. Okay, cool. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And next time we'll do that and check out the Presidium. Bye-bye.